Hi guys, how are you guys doing today? What am I saying? I'm ha- That's better by way. My name is Hannah Martin and I'm an arithmetic gymnast. Yes, I'm the one who throws the hoop, catches clubs and twirls the ribbon. I'm gonna be trying out a lot of different cereal bars. Being a arithmetic gymnast, I obviously need to make sure my diet is consistent and I'm getting all the nutrients I need to be able to train and build muscle, but also maintain a good body weight. I'm gonna be trying out all these different cereal bars, healthy and unhealthy, to see which ones will benefit me the most in training, that will give me a long lasting energy, also behind the camera I have my mum who will also be helping me out. Hi, hello! She'll be also giving a second opinion on all the cereal bars so you won't just be hearing it from me. Okay, let's get on to the video. Oh, okay. Goodness knows, blueberry and almond. It looks quite plain actually. How do you open this thing? 6.6 .6 grams of fat in there and 12 grams of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Oh, it's got chocolate in it. <laughs> Try this. Oh, oh, it's all. Oh, it's like little, little bites. How much chocolate would you say is on there, Hannah? <laughs> oh. It literally tastes like a chocolate bar. Very, very sweet. I don't usually like dark chocolate as much as milk chocolate, but this is really, this is really is good. Is she gonna take the other bite, or is she gonna give that to me? I'm gonna be a nice person. I'm gonna let mum try. <laughs> it's just like a, like a full-on blown mm, sugar mm. bar. It's not like healthy in any way. The thing with this packaging, it kind of tries to indicate that it is mm. healthy. I'm it's suitable for vegetarians. A lot of things are suitable for vegetarians, Mum. Ooh, yum yum yum. Four cranberry pumpkin seed and dark chocolate bars from Tesco. Fried sweetened cranberry and pumpkin seed with crisp rice cereal bar dipped in dark chocolate. The dark chocolate's supposed to be quite good for you then. Yeah. I don't know actually how much cocoa's in the dark chocolate, mm. so that, that kind of determines how healthy they are. This has got more sugar than the last one. It's mm. gonna be so sweet. Purple pack. What is it purple pink packaging? It's not gonna come out that way, obviously. This one's got like covered in chocolate now. I've got apricots in it. I'm not too keen on my apricots. I think mother will be eating the rest of those then. Ash like a rice crispy treat with like um dark chocolate. Added sugar or do you think the sweetness is from there the is fruit, the dry fruit? I don't there's definitely added sugar. It feels okay. like there's dried fruit in there and then they put more sugar to stick it all together. Can I shine? It's really sugary again. Surprises me because again I thought that one looked quite quite healthy. They make it sound healthy with all these seeds and cranberry mm. and fruit. Almost the same as having a chocolate bar, is it not? It's glucose syrup, I think they put to bind oh. it together. I think I prefer the first one. I, I, I think I prefer the yeah. first one as well. Oh, ooh, this is a four pack with four different flavours. Oh, that has apricot in it though. We have strawberry crunch, apricot crunch, cocoa crunch, and banana crunch. I like the sound of the cocoa crunch and the banana crunch. I say, oh, my least favourite one first, apricot crunch. I've had naked bars before. I haven't been too, too keen on them. There's dates in this. It's 43% dates, this is. This is healthier, I think, than the other two so far. Soy protein crunchy, 70%, raisins, 70%, cashews, 14%, apricot, 70%, apple juice, concentrate. Hint of natural flavour. Well, maybe they put dates in to give it a caramel. caramel yeah, like rice. sweet. Mm, that's not too bad. A fresh taste, like a fresh orangey taste. Got cashews in as well, isn't it? Yeah, thank goodness knows. It's probably my favourite so far. Strawberry crunch. Are these all crunches ones? Yeah, they're all crunch. 2% strawberries. Yeah. No, but they said a hint of flavouring, yeah. I think. Big hint, a small hint. Who knows? Is there a cashew in that one? And the soya protein crunchy, so they obviously like put soya protein mm -hmm. in it. That one's quite sweet. I'll be interested if this one tastes similar to this one. Because mm. I, I think it might do. Prefer that one to the cranberry and pumpkin dark chocolate mm. bars because it's not as sweet as that. What mm. do you think? I prefer it to the apricot one. Same. So in this one, again, we have lots of dates and we have 5% cocoa. But I love chocolate, so I'm quite looking forward to this one. Notice how bigger chunks you took of that one than to the other one. I love that one a lot. That's so good. <laughs> it's really yummy. Mm. That's my favourite one so far. 100%. <laughs> yeah. No, do you know what? I actually quite like the goodness nose one. Really? The very first one we had. It was really sweet though. Mm. I could probably see myself eating the chocolate one more than the goodness nose one. It would be, that would be more on a, some, a more of a treat basis though. Yeah. This one I'm quite excited about is the banana crunch one and I really like bananas. 
Is this gonna live up to my expectations? Mm, not really. That's disappointing. Oh no, that's actually not, that's nasty. Mm. Ugh. I think it's the soy protein that they put in. Mm. The soy protein in the chocolate one was amazing. The aftertaste, the aftertaste is just like, like yeah. it's okay, it's okay, it's oh no, I no, don't no, like no, it. No. Wild trail carrot cake. Now I'm quite interested because I, I quite like carrot cake, so I actually want to see if this is actually tastes like carrot cake. No added sugar, high in fibre, vegan. Look, even mum's drinking water after that one. It was nasty. Yeah. Mm. Five simple ingredients: raisins, cashews, gluten-free oats. Dried carrot, ground cinnamon. No added sugar, but there is sugar probably from the carrot and the raisins. What does it look like? It, it looks look a bit like the naked bars, like with the dates. Oh, it actually smells quite nice. And the texture is very different. Mmm, mmm, I quite like that one. This is actually healthier than some of the others that we've tried. Yeah, I like that one. This is something I might eat once in a while when I'm going to training. 3.8 grams of fat per, per, per bar. Some others were seven. Like this is a healthier option than some of the others we tried, but it's still really scrumptious. So. The naked one, the fat was 7.4 in each bar. Iridian peanut butter. It's up right up my street. Iridian's like a healthier peanut butter. So like it's not like most of the other peanut butters, which has loads of ad additional sugars in there. 62% peanuts in this bar. Brown rice malt. Brown rice malt. Great juice concentrate. Rice starch. I don't know about this one. Oh, it's very, it smells like peanut butter. Mm. It's like really dark, quite dark chocolate. I expected there to be more protein. So it's not actually not much bad. more protein, even though no. there's more fat. Mm. And I don't even like the flavour as much. You tried peanuts, isn't it? No, I wasn't too keen on that one. Let's yeah. try another one. So I wanted to kind of compare the healthy ones to the actual ones that they were trying to mimic. I don't even want to look how much sugar is in this. Not a lot of protein, but the sugars are about the same. 6.5 grams of sugar. There's not a lot of fat either. Really? Less than most of the mm. others. The fat that they put in there isn't like nuts. Mm. Like on the others, mm. there's like lots of cashews Shabby. and stuff. But this is just fat. But there'd, there'd be a lot more sugar in it. 13.4 in a naked bar. How much was that again? 13.4 per bar. Yeah, 14.3 grams. Per bar? Yes. 14.3 in the naked bars? Yes. Whereas in this, per bar, it's only 6.5. After tasting the others, I can see why. That one tastes almost as sugary as the others. In fact, it doesn't taste as sweet yeah. as the others. Yeah, yeah. But because before you would think the Frosties bar, that's going to just be mm. like sugar. I was going to say, it hasn't got the same amount of recovery for your muscles. Goodness, six zero bars. This was a cheap, really cheap one. Oh, only 4 grams of sugar. It's only 1.4 grams of fat. So I don't think it's going to taste very nice. It's thirsty. It smells really sweet though. My mouth is really confused. I can taste cranberry, but it's supposed to be strawberry. I thought it was going to be like a strawberry bar, like the naked one, which I didn't like very much. But it's actually nicer than I thought it'd be. Mm. I'm going to try these. Banana Blast. <laughs> I can feel the sugar. I love the Trek bars. I've had that Jack Cocoa ones, but... I've never tried the Banana Blast ones. <laughs> then that, the way they put it, you just don't, but you're not bothered to read it because it's so small. It's quite a big bar. I'm not liking the smell of this. It tastes like the naked Banana Bar. It's got 10.1 grams of protein, but fat, it says here, only 1.5. I mean, that's wow. It's like the naked Banana Crunch, but a bit nicer. It doesn't have as bad after flavor. Right. Let's try this one. I think this is much more of a, like, it looks like an unhealthier brand. They look like they'd put sugar in your, their cereal bars, don't they? Snap, crackle and pop, I think. Right, ha, the beauty's in there. Vegetable oils, palm, palm kernel, coconut in varying proportions, glucose syrup, starch, invert sugars. Invert sugar syrup. Had to invert the sugar mm -hmm. to fit more of the sugar into the bar. Antioxidants, acidity, regulator, glyphosate, flavorings, that one's quite fluffy. I think it's got more than the frosties. Yeah, because they had to invert more sugar to fit more sugar in. Nice. I can't read half the ingredients. The other ones, the ingredients are pure. I think that's why the other ones actually are healthier. You could tell it was just, it's very manufactured and very plastic. Oh, thank you. I'm starting to get very full now. Rice and wheat flake bars with caramel and dark chocolate drizzle. 
you, 72 calories per bar. Glucose syrup. Finding a lot of the sugary ones has glucose syrup in there. And it doesn't taste healthy at all. Wouldn't be something that I would have before training because I don't feel like that would give me the energy for training. Mm. It tastes like a dessert, yeah. like something I'd have on a weekend. Okay. Cliff bar. Now I know some of my friends eat these. This is chocolate chip. This is more like a meal, like an exchange for a meal almost because it has a lot of carbohydrate in it. It was at a competition and wasn't able to have a meal because of circumstances. Having one of these in my bag might be like a good option. Sugars. Oh, that's the most sugar I've seen in any of them yet. 21 grams of sugar in one of these. Protein in it. Oh, it's hard. It's like a flapjack. It has like cinnamon in it as well. It's quite yummy quite heavy. I wouldn't eat it right before I compete. Sometimes I eat cereal bars between my routines, but that wouldn't be something I'd eat. Okay, I've been actually really excited about this one, so I've said it's last. It's banana bread, and I love banana bread. 100% natural ingredients, no added sugar. So actually, the naked bars, although they had more sugar in, they were actually natural sugars. I'm really hoping this is what I hope it to be. It doesn't look very appetizing. Naked mm. bars. Oh, that doesn't banana. have the soya protein in this Gluten thing. Oh, because it was soya crunchies, but these were just mm. like normal ones. I taste a bit like banana bread. Definitely nicer than the other one. Thank you. I quite like that one. I had to rank these. This is really difficult. This was the worst one. I didn't like the flavour and the aftertaste was nasty. I wasn't like I preferred a lot of the others more than this one. It was alright, but I wasn't too keen on it. I'm like it's a lot of the banana ones really disappointed. I was really excited about them, but they disappointed me. It's probably this one next. I didn't like the flavour so much because it tastes more like cranberry than strawberry. This one, not a good recovery. Not good to eat for training. This one was okay. I wasn't too too keen on it. it. I really didn't really like this one very much. It was too dark for me. So that's kind of there. Next, I think it's going to be the banana bread. It was okay. That's the next one. Frosties and the rice. Frosties. I'm getting there's so many cereal bars. I'm just getting mixed up. Um, Like the frosties and the, and the rice crispy yeah. bars, isn't it? Yeah. So they go after this one. Go there. Oops. One. They cut one. Banana blast from Trek. Strawberry crunch. Uh, this one. Not as not 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 recovery seal bar. This one. This one. Bop. Bop bop. This one was quite s too sweet, I think, for me, and I wouldn't have it before training. I'll go next. The Trek one's next. Was alright. I think it was just very heavy. Very heavy. This one. This one was yummy actually. It was the first one we had, and I'm gonna put that one in number three. Quite enjoyed that one. Second place, I'm gonna go for Cocoa Delight. It did taste quite like a chocolate bar. Probably have that one again. Not for training because it has does have quite a lot of sugar in the bar that I enjoyed the most, and I feel like has probably the best sugar and protein and fat content is. The Wild Trade Carrot Cake Cereal Bar. It's also quite small, so it's not got too many calories in. I've eaten them before. I haven't. I First time I tried them, and these are my favourites. Have you tried some of them? Let me know in the comments below which one's your favourite. Unless it's um, Banana Crunch, then, then just don't go there, okay? Okay, guys, I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a journey, guys, but we made it to the end. Let me know if you'd like to see any more of these videos. But, guys... Dream big, make it happen.